Oh, got a fish. Got another one. Got, oh, I got a fish. Got a fish. These lures are great for uh, largemouth bass. Oh, got one. Got a fish. Today, I'm gonna match the hat. We're gonna match a bluegill. And we've got down here in South Florida, jewel cichlids that when it's mating season, they turn a bright red color with this kind of belly. So this almost mimics one of those. So I'm gonna see if uh, the peacock bass and the largemouth wanna hit it. So we got bluegill and I'm imitating a jewel cichlid here. Let's see if I can get tied on some fish. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. That is Catch Everything Outdoors. And if you like catching everything outdoors, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on right now so you don't miss any upcoming episodes because that's what we do here on this channel. Today, we're using the uh, Savage Gear Pulse Tails and I'm gonna see if some peacock bass are gonna show interest and hit the lures. Let's go step down by the water. Alligator check, crocodile check. Go cast past this little point over here. I'm trying to work it along. I don't know if you guys can see the ledge right here, but I try and work everything along the ledge. Oh, there's a whole school of peas. Oh, oh shoot, there's a peacock. Got one on. There's a whole freaking school here. Oh, I got a branch. No way. A freaking school of peacocks just went by. I'm talking about a big school. Oh, that's why. Oh, oh, he ate it. He ate it. Oh, he wanted it. Okay, I just messed up. I took it out of his mouth. Let's do this again. Come on, guys. Let's get let's get a fish. Bomb. This is on the jewel cichlid, the lit up color one. I see all the peas underneath me right here. Please tell me something wants to eat. Something wants to eat. They might not be looking for the uh, reddish color. But, so I'm going to throw the bluegill and see if I can get hooked up on the bluegill. But I got to see where they went because... That was a good, the, no giants, no giants, but they were, there was definitely about 10 to 15 peacock bass in that school and they were hunting. That I know for sure. So let's set that right there and I'm going to work it the other way. Maybe they're still in this area here. Maybe they want a different color bait. All right, spot one, got excited. I saw a school of peacocks, but I ripped it right out of the fish's mouth and did not catch a fish here. So let's go ahead and move on to the next location. Where that is, I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna hit that GPS and uh, find a spot to pull over and fish. I went all the way up and down the canal bank. I did not see any peacock bass. Then there at the end, a whole school went by. There were maybe like, they were, they were probably about two to three pounds. So nothing crazy, but it was a bunch of them. I tried to catch them. One hit the lure, but it was kind of as I was twitching. So instead of, you know, getting hooked, I pulled it right from its mouth. Uh, so that's on me. And uh, then they disappeared. So we're on to the next location. Where? I don't know yet, but I'm going to find some fish for you guys. If you like fishing adventures and fishing content, I do freshwater, saltwater, bridge fishing, canals, lakes, kayaks, boat. I do it all. So if you like fishing in the outdoors, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now because that's what you're going to get on this channel and some family content, you know, because I'm a family man. So if you like that, you know, make sure you do what I just said or else. All right, guys, I like to cast along the rock ledge and just work it back to me. I'll just, you know, move up and down the canal bank, just checking because these peacocks, they will crush right up and over the ledge. We're just using the red one right now. That looks kind of like a jewel cichlid. It's not a jewel cichlid, but it looks like a jewel cichlid. Give it a few casts. These peacocks typically like to hit up against the edge of the bank, you know? Got, oh, I got a fish, got a fish. Got a peacock. Got me a peacock. Stay up, stay up. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this, guys. On the red. Look at that. Beautiful peacock bat. Woo! -hoo. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna let you go in a minute. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and put them back in the water. See if we can get another one. Let me try the uh, the other color now. 
get close to the water so I can drop it down. There we go. Hey, got a fish on the red. Mimic a jewel cichlid, similar shape. The jewel's got like little blue dots on it. So if they made one like this, that was like a little bit of a deeper red with blue speckles, like right across the body here. Oh, that would be Miami candy, at least South Miami candy. Yeah, that was the first time I used the right hand reel in a while. So the hook set felt awkward. But now let me try try this one. I know the wind is here, so I might have to dub over some of this. All right, let's go this way. See if there's anything back here. This thing swim really nice in the water. Really, really nice. Oh, got fish. Got another one. Got a peacock. Got another peacock. Got another. Oh, he spit the hook. Well, that guy's not going to hit again. Ah, that's all I do. Walk, work the ledge. If I see something flash, I'll give it a few more casts, you know, in the area. Sometimes they stay, sometimes they don't. But all you got to do is cover ground, you know. That's what it's about. And down here in South Florida, there are hundreds of miles of canal bank to walk. And it's not private property. You just have to be courteous of the neighbors. You know, don't go on to other people's property if you're not supposed to. And uh, that's it. Just make sure you have water. I got water today. I left it in my house. So I'm freaking struggling right now. But I got a fish on this one. Now I want to get a fish on this one. Oh, wow. There's a 30 pound grass carp down there. Those things are actually uh, protected here in South Florida. You gotta put them back if you catch them because they were put here intentionally by the state to help eat the invasive vegetation that grows in these canal systems. So they're genetically mutated to have a, an additional chromosome, if I remember correctly, so that they cannot breed in the wild, so they can control the population. So sometimes you'll see them come in with a truckload and just dump a truckload of grass carp, triploid grass carp into the canals here. So don't hurt them when you catch them, guys. Oh, it's a big ass toad. Where's my peacocks? It rained all night from yesterday, all night till this morning. So I know the water is cold. It was actually supposed to start storming again about an hour ago. I did not think I would have this much time to fish because I thought I only had about a one to two hour window. That's an iguana. Ooh, got one. Got a fish. Let's see if I can flip it up. Yeah. Got one on the bluegill, baby. Got one on the bluegill. Right there. Peacock on the bluegill. Nice. Look at this guy. Beautiful fish. Let's get him back in the water. That's it. He just came up over the ledge right there. Like I was bringing it up and when I came up over the hump, he just poof, came up and hit it. All right, we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous pink lure here, reddish pink, but it kind of mimics, like I said, a jewel cichlid. So I'm using it because when those jewels are flared up, they make easy targets for peacock bass and they sit tucked up against these uh, rocks and stuff here. So I'm just gonna work it along the rock ledge like I've been doing all day and see if, uh, see if a peacock thinks it's a jewel and comes to swallow it up. So let's just go along the side here, step down. So I got a nice little angle and uh, just work it back. It's extremely bright in the water. Like this, it, the, the, this pink color literally like glows. And oh, I don't know if you see that rock. There's something, something underneath. I'm gonna find out what it is because it stumped me a couple times. So let's just drop this down on the back side and try and get a good, good uh, hook set this time. Got a good hook set this time, baby. Yep, and I got another peacock on the jewel. On, oh, I freaking tried to flip him too fast. Golly, golly. Y'all ever googing yourself up like that? Oh, I had a fish. That's twice I've lost a fish because I. 
because I'm stupid. All right, so I've, I'm, I'm two for two. Landed two, lost two. So no, that's not two for two. For two. I'm two and two on uh, peacock bass. I see one right here. So let me just stop real quick, switch the camera around and be right back. They did not want the bluegill. So let's see if an orange, red, whatever color cichlid will get their attention. Oh, first cast, first cast. Oh, little peacock, spit it. Ah, you guys see him. Oh, get down in the water. Quick release, quick release. But what got my attention was there was something a lot bigger down here. Holy moly, it just shot up. It shot up. It was way bigger. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. If you did like this video, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now. But all in all, these lures are great for uh, largemouth bass and for fishing. Um, the peacocks did show interest in them, but I would prefer for my own personal taste uh, using something more like this, a swim bait uh, with a, just a ball jig and a bigger hook because the hooks on this particular size is just a little bit small and I found that the peacocks, because they are so acrobatic and they'll jump out and flop and spit your hook. And I was having some issues. I think I lost about four fish because they spit the hook. Doesn't mean it's a bad lure. It's a very good lure. It's just for peacock bass in particular. I would uh, go with a larger size with a bigger hook. If you are very familiar with peacock bass, you know that they will jump and spit your hooks. So with this particular one, it works good. Just the hook's a little too small. And I love working a swim bait because I put the ball jig at the tip, you know, maybe a quarter to a half ounce and I can get it to dive a little bit and I can give it some up and down action where this weight here, I think, I don't remember what weight it was. I had, I'd have to look at the package. It had more of a like a slow flutter and drop, which is great for largemouth, but peacocks, they want faster, quicker action. So I still suggest running with the swim bait. You know, this color works well, but I do like the silvery and like pearly white colors um, and some golden colors for the peacock bass. But if you are coming down peacock bass fishing, make sure you have an arsenal of swim baits and jerk baits and some lipless crank baits if you're here for peacock bass season. If you got any requests on lures and stuff that you want to see me try to see if they work, just drop a comment below. And until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.